Well, Matt, last time we were here, we were talking about what we were going to be doing in the shutdown. Yes. And so, different subject. It's been two months. Yeah, it's been two months. So now let's talk about what we're going to do as we reopen. That's the biggest question that we have right now online. Um, I'm getting text messages. Everybody's going, Pastor Allen, when are we reopening? We are, we are reopening all three services on Sunday, 8.30, 10 o'clock, and 11.30 on June the 7th. Nice. So first Sunday in June. That's nice. gonna be our, that's gonna be our reopening day. And that also is our? It's our anniversary. Yeah. We'll be 24 years old as a church, so. So. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to us, all right. Um, just a couple questions okay. that I know people are wondering and asking. Okay. Um, what does it look like? Do I have to sign up to come or is it open? You know, the, the great thing is because the governor has really worked well with, with churches, I appreciate our governor and God bless Texas because our ability to come back is gonna be so much better because we won't have all of the restrictions Right. that we were looking at even just a week ago. Okay. And so that's that's the plan is to come back. No registration, no tickets, no, uh, we won't have to sit every other row. We can right. actually sit every row. So that's going to be much better. Yes. Kids ministry, what about kids? Yeah, yeah. this is, this is the, I think for us, this is one of the biggest thing. Our kids will be back in full force. And so from the nursery all the way up through the fifth grade, we're gonna have our kids back and rowing again. And so that's gonna be a blessing for your kids. That's gonna be a blessing for you. That's, that's, that's a real bonus. And, and that's actually one of the reasons that we waited until first Sunday in June, because we wanted to make sure that we had everything up that we could and that's running. Mm -hmm. And our kids, our youth? Yep, our youth. Our youth is gonna run as well. So. It's going to be close to the way it was when, when we left with a couple of seats in between. A couple of seats in between. A couple of seats. Um, okay, uh, what about, um, what are the safety measures that we're putting in place as a church so that people that, can understand? That is a long growing list. In yep. fact, I, I really believe we'll be listing those safety measures out on the website. Yep. And, yep. and so if you'll go to the website, you'll see what we're doing. We are going to do everything we can to provide a safe environment for you. And uh, so we are, but we're, we're also giving you the option if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, you don't have to. Yeah. But we're going to be disinfecting between services and, and we are doing everything we can to make sure that it's clean, it's safe, it's a sterile environment. And we're going to trust God that this place is going to be a safe place. That's the plan. Awesome. Um, I know a question that are, it's popping up a lot as well okay. is what about church online? Like, you know, maybe I've gotten used to watching church online or maybe I'm, you know, we've, like we said, we've had a lot of people who have watched us from all over the world and, yeah. and yeah. from uh, the U.S. So what's going to happen to church online once we're back in the building? I heard this guy tell me, he said he loves the commute now on Sunday morning. <laughs> it's from his bedroom to his living room and uh, church online. That's a great question. Here's the good news. We, we have discovered during this, this time that Church Online is, is helpful and it's effective for, for people who have moved away. It's effective for people who live in other areas. It's effective sometimes in people who live out in areas where there aren't uh, good churches close by. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, if, if a family member is sick and you have to stay at home, uh, it's going to be effective for people who still feel the need to stay away from, from public places. And so we are going to be continuing church online, not just for the next few months. We're going to be doing it, period. And so we're going to be live streaming our services. And uh, we're, we're glad about that. That gives us uh, some great opportunities to reach out into our area. And it also gives you some opportunities on those Sundays that you can't make it that you're gonna have church online. So we're excited about that. Absolutely. Um, if people have more questions, they can go well, to you're the, the website. Web, you're the website guru, yeah, right? Yeah, right. The, right. the website, so. you can reach out to us on Facebook, Messenger. Okay. Um, we also have a message app on our website. You can ask questions. Um, I know you'll have a lot more than we even have 
answered on our frequently asked questions on the website, but that's gonna be the best place yep. to find that information. It's like right there, it's gonna be quick. Um, but yeah, we're thrilled to be back. Coming back. See you soon, love you Art Church. <laughs>